The United States today announced that it off. It finally got off from Cape Canaveral at 5 p.m. Eastern Time, 90 minutes late because of a problem in one of its booster rockets. Then shortly after liftoff, one of the shuttle's three engines was reported out. We have a center engine down. Abort ATO. Abort ATO. Mission Control Houston, we have a center engine down on the Challenger. The crew has been instructed to abort to orbit. NASA officials say the seven shuttle astronauts will continue their mission in a lower than planned orbit. Hour and 14 minutes ago, and then developed problems. CNN science correspondent Tom Entier and NASA scientist Rick Chappell are here to bring us up to date. For about the last hour and 14 minutes, Lou, the NASA scientists uh, have been reevaluating uh, what they're going to do with this mission. And uh, in the next uh, minute, minute and a half or so, uh, they will uh, be at the Kennedy Space Center and uh, tell us uh, what they plan to do. I imagine there's a lot of options they could be going through, right? That's right. I, and we, we're going through a sequence of things where they are firing the engines in orbit. They are in orbit, safely in orbit, in a stable situation. They're firing the orbital maneuvering engines in orbit to adjust the orbit to as close to the originally planned one as possible. Once that has been done, and they can look at the mission overall, then the scientists will begin to look at the different timings, and they'll adjust the operations of the experiments. And all of that is sort of contingent on this orbital adjustment that they're going through right now. As it stands right now, though, they're planning on a full seven-day mission. Uh, they have put themselves in the position in space where they will be able to stay up and uh, continue their mission in their orbits, uh, 110 of them, uh, before they come back down on August the 5th, uh, totally uh, without any problem as, as they see it. Yeah, you've got it. There will be impacts on the experiments uh, where there was certain timing required and you get a change. Then there will be adjustments in the overall what they call the timeline or the real schedule of events that the crew, the onboard crew goes through. So there will be uh, effects to the different investigations in varying ways. Investigations that just require the microgravity environment can run any time. But those that require specific targets at specific times will have to adjust those or they will be impacted. And that's just what we'll have to see. It, it will take... Uh, probably on the order of uh, 12 hours to 24 hours to assess the scientific impact as we go along. But we've got to get these first pieces of data on what the final orbit is going to be like. All right, so uh, we will, of course, uh, be bringing you more on this story. As it stands right now, the shuttle Challenger, a few minutes after liftoff, lost one of its three main engines. They continued firing the other two engines to establish a stable orbit. Uh, moving up to a point 186 nautical miles out. As it stands right now, NASA says that the mission will go on as scheduled, a full seven-day mission, but what remains to be seen is how much of the scientific investigations they'll be able to do before they come back. Lou? And NASA is planning a news conference, is it not? Uh, they have uh, been sliding back the time uh, several times in the last uh, half hour. It was originally uh, supposed to be at 6 and then 6.05 Eastern time. And uh, now I understand that they, they are now moving in uh, to the briefing room at the Kennedy Space Center in Florida and will possibly get some answers on what is going to take place uh, as far as how long a mission will last, you know, an affirmative true answer of how long it will last, what they will lose. Uh, it may be a little early to get all of the full answers, but they should have some better idea of what's going to happen in the next seven days uh, and possibly uh, what went wrong with the engine. Possibly some information there. That's, that typically takes you some time to look through, though. It's not a kind of an instantaneous answer, but there will be a lot of data to be looked at that the data are sent down continuously as the engine runs, so the, the engineers will be, they are looking at it now, possibly some information preliminary-wise. Let's take another look at the, at the launch that was about an hour and 18 minutes ago. In the launch, you really couldn't see any problem with the, the engines. They looked like they were firing uh, uh, normally all the way through. That's right. We had a, the, the three main engines came on, powered up, everything looked good. They sent the signal to uh, ignite both of the solid rocket boosters, and in fact, that same signal cuts the shuttle loose from the pad, blows the explosive bolts that hold it down and you see it run and ran extremely well for a while. For a while. Uh, the engine, main engine that quit, uh, quit about three minutes prematurely. Let's go now to uh, the Kennedy Space Center where we'll get possibly some answers on what went wrong and what they hope to do. 
is our Director of Shuttle Management and Operations at the Kennedy Space Center, and Dan Spicer, who is the Space Lab 2 Program Scientist from NASA Headquarters. And we'll start with Mr. Moore. Good. Well, I'll just try to give you a little bit of a, an assessment of where we are now relative to the uh, launch of Challenger uh, this afternoon and uh, uh, respond to some questions. Uh, let me say now that we are safely in orbit. We are in an orbit uh, about 106 nautical miles by 146 nautical mile. Uh, at this time in the plan, the mission plan, uh, we should have achieved uh, an orbit of 106 by 210 nautical miles. Uh, we have uh, uh, burned some Ohms fuel, and uh, however, we have a uh, substantial amount of Ohms fuel left in the program, and uh, the crew is doing fine, and as of now, uh, we're pretty optimistic about achieving uh, all of the objectives, essentially all the objectives of the mission. That is going to have to be worked with the science community. Uh, what happened, as you heard on the loop, is that uh, we got a call at about uh, 220 seconds into the flight on engine three, and we lost uh, one of the channels of redundancy. I think we lost channel B. And then at uh, 295 seconds, uh, we lost channel A, and then uh, we cut engine number one. And it was a smooth shutdown. Uh, just like it should be uh, shut down in the event we uh, uh, have problems. Uh, and uh, fortunately, uh, we were uh, able to continue on at that point in time and uh, achieve what I think is a, a reasonable orbit. And I'm optimistic at this time we're going to achieve, uh, as I said, the essential objectives of uh, the Space Lab 2 mission and the uh, flight of Challenger. Okay, thank you, uh, Tom. Well, I guess the only thing... Uh from the ground side, uh, we had a nominal count up until a, after the hold at T-minus uh, um, two hours there, or three hours. And then we had a problem, uh, some small instrumentation problems. And I guess the one that was uh, most spectacular and that caused the hold is that we had a, uh, a patch uh, that was sent up to uh, the ground, uh, uh, up to the uh, general up to the GPC, the onboard computer, that uh, had a misaddress. And it went into a different location than it was supposed to. The computer reacted as it should, sent down an error signal. And because of the particular computer that was in, it required us uh, to, uh, to, as we corrected the problem, which involved dumping the memory of the computer and then reinitializing it, we had to recycle back to the T minus 20 minute point because it was also the computer that was controlling the IMU. So we had to, or the initial uh, measurement units. So we had to reinitialize there, and that caused the, uh, the hold. After that, the count went very nominally, and uh, we were able to get it off at uh, 5 o'clock. So uh, uh, that was basically it. Uh, I, I know it took a lot of time, but the problem was not a a major significant problem. It was just one that I don't know whether it was a, a human error and uh, just punching it up or whether it was some kind of problem in the program. But that was mainly it. And other than that, it was a, a fairly smooth count. It was a fairly hey, uh, smooth you, count, uh, and at about 290 Spicer. seconds, well, time, they lost the one course. channel of the engine number one. Uh, about uh, another minute after that, they lost another channel and they decided to shut down engine number one but as they said that they are going to try to complete all of the objectives they say that uh, the amount of fuel on board is okay and they say that uh, they will be able to continue the mission as scheduled as far as right now is concerned we'll have more on the shuttle mission throughout the evening here on cnn and bring you developments when they occur